This is an ABC 10 News update. And good evening. I'm Steve Atkinson in the ABC 10 News studio. City leaders are addressing a wave of violent crime around San Diego. Police say that homicides have increased 80% since this time last year. And it's prompting the city to now ask the public to come forward with information to help in recent investigations. Mayor Todd Gloria also says the Transportation Department will be prioritizing streetlight repair and police resources will be more present in communities, including Mount Hope and Mountain View. Hundreds of Marines and sailors that returned to Camp Pendleton Wednesday, their families welcomed them back with open arms. There were plenty of tears and hugs all to go around. Those service members, they have been on deployment for the last seven months. About 2,500 more Marines will also be returning here in the next couple of days. And some San Diegans might have noticed smoke Wednesday from a fire burning in the Cleveland National Forest. The U.S. Forest Service says the gym fire started before noon near Riverside and Orange Counties. That fire is holding at about 400 acres with zero containment. Cal Fire is San Diego is uh, assisting there. Firefighters say there are currently no structures threatened. They are investigating the cause of the fire. With this, we're always concerned about the winds, too. Here's Angelica. That is true. There's a winter storm on the way, so hopefully it helps them. It's definitely going to be helping us with our rainfall totals. But during the day on Thursday, one of the main changes we'll see is the winds picking up in the afternoon for our mountains and deserts. It'll be mostly cloudy ahead of the rain and possible thunderstorms. I'll give you more details coming up.